Hey up guys, it's Cly here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make one of the most effective stink bombs in the world. That may be a tad grandiose, but still, it really does bloody stink. We only need two ingredients for this to work, and they will be protein powder, and I've found that the cheaper ones tend to work best for this, but they all work the same way in the end. And the final ingredient will be H2O, otherwise known as water. Now I'd recommend you use hot water for this, because what we intend to do is create a bacterial bog inside of this little tub here. Now warm temperatures are a great place for bacteria, so keeping it warm will indeed speed the process up by double, or perhaps even triple, depending on the container. Keep in mind though, this process can take anywhere from 3 to 5 days to even begin having any form of smell, but there are quite a few variables, such as the brand of powder, the temperature, how much water you've put in the container, the size of the container, etc, etc. So experimentation may be required, but in its base form, you put protein powder in a disposable tub with some hot water, you seal it up, and you leave it to ferment for as long as you want. We're only going to need a pinch of protein powder for this to work, and especially in a container this big. I do have to stress though, the word disposable. The smell that this liquid gives off after two to three weeks is comparable to several dead bodies. And one whiff of this could blow all of the hair on your head clean off. If you don't believe me, I suggest you just try it and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. I'm also fairly confident that the people who frequent the gym will be able to confirm this. The longer you leave this, the better the results will be, so it does pay off to be patient. The interesting thing about this though, and this does depend on the container of course, but if the lid is slightly loose, the longer you leave this, the gas buildup inside will actually force its way out of the lid every so often. So people in the house, or wherever you may be, may get a slight whiff of something unpleasant every once in a while. But the thing about this is that you don't really know where it's coming from, and the smell doesn't really linger too much as well, so it may just disappear and then come back every so often. The real horror begins when the lid is removed. I'd also like to mention you should not get this liquid onto anything that you wish to keep. The smell from this liquid will seep into any fabric and carpet very quickly and it's almost impossible to remove. I left a small amount of powder in my old protein shaker and it still smells about two weeks on. And this is made of plastic. It now resides in the washing up bowl and I don't think I'll see it leaving there for quite a considerable amount of time. I even put bleach in it. Twice. In summary, protein powder and water in a sealed container under warm temperatures left for about 3-5 to five days or however long you can will absolutely fucking stink.